dead. You got two little small ones. That's that's perfect. That's perfect. Hit this button. Those big cranes are just watching you. Tell us who we met this morning, Robert. You guys remember Robert. Robert's back with me doing, today. Yeah. We're on for another adventure at the Calaveras Lake, guys. Oh, we met two uh, two YouTubers ourselves, Caesar and Miguel, or Miguel. We got Mike's got his own fishing channel. It's called what Mike's, is it? Mike's Fishing Channel. Mike's Fishing Channel. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's pretty easy cool. to remember. Yeah, Mike's Fishing Channel off on YouTube. So, seems like really good people. They wanted to know where we were getting the bluegill from. Yes, they said they saw our videos. That was kind of neat. They're avid fans of Rick's here. They're watching all the channels and stuff. So uh, they want to know where we got the bluegill that one fishing adventure. So we shared that information with them. And uh, we also shared where we're going to be going today with them. So if they want to join us, that'd be, that'd be pretty neat. So. All right, we're heading down the lake. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's incredibly foggy this morning. So we're going to have to take our time and just kind of mosey down the lake. What should be a uh, four or five minute trip to get down the lake to where I want to fish today, it looks like it's going to take a while because I'm not going to go but maybe 10 miles, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour in this fog. Really see that at all. Yeah. Just, distance, <laughs> distance is like maybe 30 yards. Fortunately, I'm, I now have a navigation system, which I didn't have before. So that'll help. So, all right, that's it for now. Well, I forgot to turn the camera on. Robert's biggest fish ever so far. Uh, I wasn't there for, but I didn't have the camera on. We're gonna show you Robert's fish. We got him on the stringer over here. There you go, Robert, show me fish. This is the catfish we caught. So, it's a six pounder, nice cat. And uh, we're gonna put him back in the water now. Hopefully next time I'll remember to turn the daggone camera on. I thought I had done it, but I didn't. I hit video, but I didn't hit record. I was doing a fine job of filming myself. <laughs> okay, what we got going on here? What do you think you got? Think it's a red? That's a red. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. Is that a keeper? Or? No, sir. Don't believe he's going to make it. We'll check real quick. Swallowed that one down. It's okay. We'll get it out. Okay. We're moving locations. We didn't have a whole lot of success there. At least the fog is cleared. We did catch one night cat. You brought the catfish in, right? Yes, sir. It's in the bucket, okay. We caught a 17 inch red. And uh, now we're gonna move over to a new location. See how we do. Is he fighting at all? Or did you miss him? Yep. Okay, he got away. All right, let's put it back out there. All right, well, this spot didn't work out, so we're moving to a new one. You hit it again? No. He's leaving it alone? Yep. I think I stripped it. 
He hit it hard. He pulled it down hard. Slides it in very gently. Bring the tip down so that... There you go. And then wind it in gently and see if he tugs at it. He probably stripped it. He hit it hard. Twice. That's coming in like it's empty. <laughs> Set that hook. Now hear that whining? Yes, sir. That's not, you're not, you're not catching him. It's turning. Okay, now go ahead. Time that a little bit. You could. Remember, it's an ultra light rod. It doesn't have very heavy line. Yeah. I can't see if they can see you or not. It's fighting. Something small though. Uh, did I just lose it? Nope. Nope. Up, He's though. fighting back. No, he's, he's spinning line. He's running line on oh. you. That's what he's supposed to be able to do. When, it, when that happens, don't whine. Let's let him, let him pull the line. That's what your drag is for. Okay, now lift up. Okay, now come bring it down and whine. There you go. Oh, you hear that whining? That's mm -hmm. that's the drag slipping. Don't let it slip. There you go. Pick it up a little bit. And then bring it down and whine. There you go. You're working it. Yeah, well, that's what you want to hear. On a, no, don't bring it out too, because you'll, you'll take the tension off and he can slip the hook. This is fighting a fish. This is when you have a rod like this. You can't muscle this fish. He's making you work for it. A nice red yeah. on that line. Okay, ease it and wind it as you ease it down. There you go. Good. Look at that blue tail on him. Yeah, beautiful. That beautiful fish. Look at that. All right. He's not a keeper. No. That was on that little bitty hook. That was designed for the for the bluegill. That's what he was there for. Can you guys see him? It's a nice fish. What's he measure out at? 17 inches, just like the other one. 17 one. and a half. Nice. So we're gonna send him back. I'm gonna take a picture of him for the kids. You wanna take a picture with him? I'll take a picture with him. Remember, the back of these gills is razor sharp. Yeah. You can cut you with those. I'll use my phone. Okay, first I'll show everybody. Yay! All right. Okay, we're going to call it a day. On the day, we got a six pound catfish and two 17 inch reds. So, one of them we caught on that bluegill pole, and that was a whole lot of fun with the ultralight reel, uh, that shake, little Shakespeare ultralight. That was a lot of fun, and uh, it gave uh, Robert a chance to learn a little bit about playing a fish. So, uh, the more opportunities he gets, the better he's going to get at it. So, all right. So, that's it. Take care.